Welcome to the introduction for the all new Color Factory plugin for Corel Draw from AdvancedTshirts.com. Thank you for taking time to watch the video. The Color Factory is a new plugin that allows you to convert images to monochromes, duotones, and tritones in Corel Draw for your graphic design, all based on monochrome images. It also has 400 presets, 250 duotone presets, and 150 tritone presets that allow you to very quickly go through different color looks with your duotones and your tritones. To get started, let's take a look at what a monochrome bitmap is and why we want to work with those in our graphic design in Corel Draw. And I'm going to come down here to monochrome and zoom in. Here is the original image. You'll notice here in the status bar that it has no color properties, no outline, and no fill. The same with the grayscale. But a monochrome bitmap has color properties. We can see that we have our foreground as a bluish color and our background is transparent. Or we can change the color of the background by a left click anywhere in our color palettes and now I have a gray background, I could right click, it's the opposite of vector, and I'd have a darker foreground. Now usually the way we want to work with these based on the colors that we want a lighter background and a darker foreground. We also invert so that we can use the color of the shirt based on the invert of the monochromes. Monochrome gives us the ability to step outside of the world of vector and mix images that have spot colors associated with them so that the color can be changed and also color separated for different looks in our designs that take us outside of just being able to work with vector and being able to do a combination of designs yet with just a few colors and we can see here actually using the shirt color and the skater as a different color this is like a duotone playing off the color of the t-shirt very effective for the looks that we're seeing in modern graphic design. If you look around, you'll see duotone, tritone, etc. everywhere in graphic design. And we want to be able to do this in t-shirts. Now here I have a mix of vector and the monochromes. And here I have the monochrome skater set up as a darker blue on the shirt. Then I have that power clipped into the image. And we'll open that up and you'll be able to see that as a green power clipped in there, kind of offset a little bit for a glitch. And if I close this, the vector is filled with yellow. So you get a really different effect on the t-shirt than we would get just working with vector. So working with the monochrome, we're then able to do inverted monochromes. And the inverted monochromes, we just take the original image, invert it, convert it to a grayscale, and then make it into a monochrome. And here we have it with a kind of off green foreground color. Now with that selected, if I go to the show view color in my color docker, I can go slide up through the different colors and change the color of the bitmap. Here we have the same tiger on a black t-shirt. Now this is inverted so that we're pulling the invert. So we're using the darkness of the shirt as the background and the invert of the shirt to create the contrast or the look. And this tiger I could go and change to, let's say, bring it to a red and then come in here to the oranges and give that an orange look. And then we have the same tiger here that's the same two monochromes with kind of offset glitch effect. And glitch is also very trending in graphic design today. And then we've got an owl here that we've done some different effects with. This has got a glitch. This is kind of like an orange playing off the blue background because of the invert. Same thing with the eagle here and the Lion of Judah design, working with the monochrome. Now we go from that and then we go to what we call our duotones. And duotones are images that are based on two colors. And these are actually monochromes. And as you can see, here's the different fills. Now from the color factory, I have 250 duotone presets, which you won't find that many duotone presets in any other plugin application in the graphics industry. A left click and bring this over here and we've got Marilyn Monroe set up over here as a duotone. And this is our duotone presets and if we look at the presets 
I'll bring this back up. Here she's set with purple and blue, and I'm going to bring that back up again. And I can go through the presets, and I can look at different looks of the duotone, working my way through the presets to get different looks relating to duotone very quickly and very easily, without having to do a lot of work with the color. And bringing that into my t-shirt design, my sign design, you name it, this duotone stuff is everywhere. If you start looking around in advertising and marketing, you're going to see it everywhere. Major brands are using it left and right, and that's because duotone really is a way of setting mood with color and getting color to get attention to the images. And here we have some design set up with the duotone. This actually has a duotone here, then another one down here, and here we have our what we call our duotone with color. And we'll get into that in just a minute, but that's a duotone design. Here's another duotone design. Now once this is set up, I can go to my presets and start to take a look at different looks very quickly and very easily on that shirt for that duotone. So really this tool has been set up to help you work through monochromes, duotones, and the different things that we have in here very easily and very quickly and get looks that totally take you outside of the world of vector and give you the advantage of working with photographic imagery but yet with just a few colors. So if you're screen printing you're not going to be printing with 12 or 13 colors but you can still get the photographic looks and effects with just a few colors. Next we have our tritones. Tritones are based on the original, dark tone, mid tone, and your highlight tone. Those are all converted to monochromes and then they're combined here. Now here we have a tritone with different looks from Marilyn Monroe and once again we have presets for these. If we select all three of the images, and you want to make sure you got all three of them, go to the color factory, go to the tritone presets, let that load. Once that's loaded you can see the blends and you can double click on these. And I'm going to bring this over here and we'll just zoom in here a little bit. And we'll bring this over here to the other side. There we go. I'll bring that up. Double click here. And you can see that the tritone presets let you work with and look at different tritone setups for designs. And you can see that there. Now looking at that, you might say, well, that red's too strong, but you could go there and adjust that. Take a look at this here. And you can see that effect. And once again, this is the tritone. It's three monochromes all put together. The dark tone, the mid tone, and the highlight. I'll hit Control Z, Control Z to go back. Now after the tritones, we have our split duotones. The split duotones are set up as two duotones on top of each other and the inverted one. And this is how we work with it. We get the regular duotone, not inverted. So we take the image and we convert it to a grayscale. Then we invert that and convert that to a grayscale. Then we convert both of those to a monochrome. Now that's useful so that we can put effects on either the foreground or the background of the monochrome. Now that's set as a white. I'll hit Control Z and go back, but I can change that color to a yellow with a right click or work with my color docker. But here, if I zoom in, you'll see what I've done. I've taken the background and added some effect to that. And I've done some things with the color in the foreground for the duotone which is separated or split from the background color. So working with the split duotones I can get some very unique effects with textures and color in my duotone images. Things we really haven't seen before in graphic design. Here we have another one where I've changed the colors but you can still see the effect in there. And here's yet another one with a different look. So working with the split duotones we can add effects to our graphics. After that we have our duotone with color. Here we take the original image, we pull the black away, and then we work with just the color. And then we convert the color to a black, and then we convert that to a monochrome, and then we convert the black to a monochrome, and now we have our monochrome combined with the color. Now that'll always be as a red, and I could take that color, go to the outline, go back to my view mode, bring that into an orange and you can see the look that I can get. I can start to get like a flesh look in that. Or I could bring that into a totally different look. 
Now, once I've got that, I can start to work with that to create designs like you see here, just a few colors, but yet a very nice image look on different t-shirts, often playing off the color of the shirt. Here we're working with a lighter color. Here we've got a basketball player, B-Town Hang Time, and he's just two colors. Here's the original image. But if we come here, we can see that that's the red and that's the black. I'll hit Control Z and put that back and you can see there's the color. And here we can create some different looks. Here we've got it it's more of like an orange going on here. So we've got orange and black. Totally photographic, just two colors. Same thing here. But playing off the highlight of the shirt, you can see that the yellow of the shirt is the highlight in the graphics. So we're using the color of the shirt, the black and the color of the image to get a photographic look with just two colors. So we can do things with these monochromes and working with them that we really can't do working with vector or any other form. Now after that we've got our inverted duotone with color and this gets really interesting. What we do is we take the, a dark image that's going to go onto a dark shirt, we invert that, we pull the black, then we pull the color, and then we take these and we convert them to monochromes and here you can see the monochrome combined, there's the red and there's the white because it's inverted to go on a black garment. And you can see that here in this design. Here's the red on top and the background is the white. And we're using the black of the garment for the contrast against the white. So it's just two colors, absolutely photographic look. A real advantage for those that are working with four and six colors on their presses or when you want to do really great designs and work for your clients without the expense of a lot of colors and printing. And here's the same design in a couple of different looks. Here's Marilyn Monroe set up. She's combined as a inverted monochrome against the color of the shirt with some different things and then she's also in the vector so there's a combination of vector and the monochrome here and here we've got another look for Marilyn Monroe and here we are working with our owl inverted just two colors orange and black and also white in there so you'd have orange black and white which is your invert so you can see that working with these monochromes we can do some incredible things and here's some designs we have mixed with the vector. Here is Marilyn Monroe again with a different look with a kind of glitch effect. Glitch is very popular, duotone is very popular, so we're bringing what's becoming popular and trending in graphic design into the graphic design tools that we have in CorelDRAW, working with the monochrome bitmaps, creating the glitch, creating the duotone, etc. And here we have the skater again, and here I've taken the skater, we have our monochrome against the shirt, but then we have the vector with the logo, and that's power clipped in there. So working with the color factor, we're able to do design an entirely different level, working with vector and monochromes and really mixing things up, but yet staying within a few colors for the printing process, giving us the ability to step outside of the world of vector and compete at a different level compared to the shops that are working with vector. And the fact of the matter is you cannot work with monochrome bitmaps like this in Adobe Illustrator. Corel supports this. Illustrator does not. So we get a very distinct advantage when we're working with these types of designs and the looks that we can make. Working with the monochrome bitmaps and vectors and being very creative in our process, but yet through the color factor, we can do it all very quickly and very easily with the features, tools, and presets that we have in the plugin. So we'll wrap here for the introduction. Now I'm going to get into some sessions on how to use it, how to work with it, and create designs with it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next session.